Hey, this is Robbie Myers with another message from God's Great Physical Science. <clears throat> We're doing it from Apology of Physical Science, Module 4, The Wonder of Water. <clears throat> experiment 4.2, Water's Polarity. In this experiment, we will see how water reacts to static electrical charge and compare it to how vegetable oil reacts under the same conditions. This will illustrate one of the water's interesting properties. For this experiment, we need vegetable oil, a glass of water, a styrofoam cup, a pen, a comb, and a, and a bowl or a sink. Okay, so first you take the pen and the cup and you um, stab a hole in the bottom of the cup. It shouldn't be too big um, and it shouldn't be too small that the water just drips out, so let's test it now, see if the hole is big enough. Alright, that should be big enough. Now I take the comb and I comb my hair rigorously so that it gets statically charged. Statically electrically charged. Okay, so now I've combed my hair for about 10 seconds or more or so. Now I'm gonna put some water in the cup, keeping my finger on the hole so that the water doesn't drip out. And then now we're going to try it with vegetable oil. Notice it doesn't go even as low of it as the water did. Because vegetable oil is non-polar and um, water is polar. Take note that there are two hydrogen atoms in the water molecule as well as one oxygen atom just like experiment 4.1 indicated. Also, <clears throat> um, oxygen atoms are larger than hydrogen atoms. Once again, there is a lot of evidence which indicates that oxygens are indeed bigger than hydrogen atoms. Third, um, finally, notice that, take note that there are bars connecting oxygen atoms and hydrogen atoms. They are called chemical bonds that link the hydrogen atoms to the oxygen atoms. <clears throat> These chemical bonds are the reason for water's behavior in experiment 4.2. This was Robbie Myers with Physical Science.